Hey beautiful people, it's your girl Chanel Alicia back at it again with episode two of Stay Ready Talk. Okay, this video is going to be about dropping what's not ours to carry. Just dropping the weight, dropping the load. If you'd like to hear more about the topic, if you'd like to engage with this video, stay tuned. Don't you go anywhere, okay? Where would you want to go? Why wouldn't you want to be here? You better stay tuned. Stay ready. Talk episode two. Let's go, beautiful people. <laughs> You got me cheesing, you have me blushing. Thank you for deciding to continue watching this video and also love to everyone that tuned in for episode one of Stay Ready Talk. Yes, your girl finally decided to start the series, okay? Talk, express myself. Um, I definitely feel like when I've learned a lesson, it's like my duty to share it with my beautiful family, share it with my beautiful people, as much people as I can share it with. And good thing YouTube is available in many places all over the world. So wherever you may be, we're here receiving this same message and that is just a beautiful thing to me, okay? Before I get into Stay Ready Talk, you know, we have to say our three mantras, okay? If you are new to my channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe family. Come and join the beautiful people. We elevate over here. We grow through life together over here. We enjoy life. Okay. So hit that subscribe button. For those that's been with me since day one, for those that's a part of the beautiful family already, I appreciate you all. Thank you. And 2024, we're going up, baby. This is our year, baby. Our mature year. Toast to that, eternal water toast to that, okay? So <laughs> let's get into our three matches, beautiful people. I am protected. I am divine beauty. I attract many blessings. Repeat it as many times as you need to repeat it. Fill it, fill it within the body. Fill it, fill it, fill it, okay? Walk outside. Knowing it, believing it, keep that head up, confidence on a hundred. Okay, beautiful people, today we're going to be talking about drop what's not yours to carry. Okay, I have my little notes. <laughs> I have my notes in my notes. Drop what's not yours to carry. Um, I definitely feel there are some of us who carry the weight of others, whether we're doing this consciously, whether we're unaware of we're doing it, we're doing it. And come on. It's not easy to live life every day and deal with our own, I want to say, struggles, mishaps, but it's really life, right? Life, no one told us life was going to be all fine and dandy, so let's just call it life. So for us to go through life and handle our life and to deal with our life and to grow from our experiences is a lot. So that plus carrying the weight of others, whether it's your partners, whether it's your siblings, whether it's your parents, whether it's your coworkers, your employees, whichever you want to put it, this video is for you, okay? It's time to drop that extra baggage, okay? And when I say drop the baggage, it's not saying to just drop it, never mind them, and don't be a help to others. It's not saying that, okay? Because of course, we grow together, right? We get to the destination together. That's how we do it. But it's very, very, very important for us to protect ourselves, to be solid, to be firm, to be so much into faith that if someone does come around and share some news with us that may shock us, that may surprise us, that it won't knock us off our pivot, okay? It won't make us fall and just completely forget about what we were on, okay? And as I said before, I truly believe when I go through something, 
And when I learned the lesson, there are other people that may have went through it, but haven't spoke about it yet. Or those who may be currently going through that situation right now. Um, and there are many ways for us to help others without carrying the, 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 the emotions, carrying the energy of it. Um, even if we know the state of someone's living, if we, even if we know the state of how someone is, it's so important for us to be 10 toes down in our faith and our beliefs, believe in the higher power, believe in the bigger picture and not actually form or fall into the, the sadness and the emotions of the other person. Because if two people is down, who's going to be the one to get up? Who? It's going to be two people down. Mm. That's not how it works, okay? It's very, very, very important to be firm, okay? Someone come to you with some unfortunate information. Someone come to you with something, for example, if someone has, like, going through a turmoil, someone lost their job, someone's about to lose their apartment, someone's just having a really bad day, it is our duty to stand tall, to stand firm, to pour love, to pour light, okay? To find solutions to pour into our people rather than relate with them, rather than be like, oh, you know, it's so sad, it's so sad. Because all that does is bring the situation down, okay? It brings it down, it makes it worse. And more, more times, it's as if, we're taking that upon ourselves. And I used to be one of those. I used to be like that. Like, I felt like it was important to relate to the person, to relate to whoever it is, until I discovered, no. Like, I'm the light. They're coming to me for a reason. That person was sent to you for a reason, okay? That person was sent to you so you can pour that love into them. Pour that light into them. Help them see that it's not over. It's not over and there's many solutions, okay? I'm going to say it again. Drop what's not yours to carry. The best way to help somebody out of their situation is to help yourself out of the situation, okay? Better yourself. Ten toes down in faith. Get them affirmations going. Get the prayer going. Do you feel me? If you're enjoying this video, hit the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Again, my name is Chanel Alicia. Beautiful people, I am so in love with you, okay? If you are feeling just this burst of great energy since March has started, let me know in the comments. I truly feel as I was in this state of like, just so much, you know the saying when they say like, get out your feelings, get in your bag. I'm in my bag now. I was in my feelings in January and February, but thankfully I have snapped out of it and I have risen. Okay, baby. She has risen, <laughs> but I am awake. You know why? I have dropped the extra baggage. I have dropped the baggage. I have dropped everything that's, what's, that's, that's not mine to carry. Sometimes we can catch ourselves just feeling down. We wake up in a good mood, good mood, meditation, feeling really good, then I don't know where we, we have a few conversations and I don't know where we're feeling like down. Do you know what that is? That's energy that was put onto us that's not ours, but it's now attached to us. It's no way that we can wake up feeling amazing, feeling great, feeling good, prayed up. Then we have a few conversations with those who just not, they, they're really not seeing the light right now and they seek into us. And it basically poisons it poisons our good energy. It, it, it good energy. This is good energy. This is the negative energy. It weighs us down. And before you know it, you're having conversation after conversation after conversation, and it we're just depleted. That's it. Good energy where we're just sad. We have all that, all the emotions, all that negativity that just been poured through the phone. And as I said before. Sometimes people are not aware that they're doing this. We have to be the ones to see. We have to have the awareness. We have to be the ones to set the boundaries, okay? And 
Those with big hearts tend to have a hard time with setting boundaries. But I'm here to tell you, if you do not set those boundaries, you will deplete your own energy, okay? You will, ugh, to the point that you can lose yourself. To the point that you can fall off from the things that you enjoy doing because you're so just in your head about how to help others. You're so in your head about how to level up from this when you have already leveled up from this, okay? You just have all that extra like sadness on you that you need to get up off of you. So there's some things I wanted to um, put out so you can just help yourself create these protective shields when it comes to this. When someone calls you with good, with, you know, uh, unfortunate day or bad energy, as I said before, do not relate. Okay. You can say, I understand. I understand. Not oh, this is so sad, you know, it's so sad, I'm so sorry. I understand, but here's what you can do. Blase, blase, blase. Pour that love into them. Start with understand, because you do not want them to think that you're just, you know, pushing them to the side and preaching. I understand. And these are, this is ways you can handle this, handle this. These are some ways you can rise from this. And that is a way that you protect your energy field. You're not relating to the sadness. Instead, you're taking that energy and you're bringing it higher. You're transmuting it, baby. Hit the like button, also the subscribe button if you haven't already. Beautiful people, we're in 2024 and it's just so much stuff going on. Man, when I tell you, we thought distractions was like on 100 before. Now it's just like way more intense. And when I tell you, there are more people out there that's, trying to like penetrate those with good energy there are people who are just a big ball of they haven't started healing yet they haven't started healing yet right they don't even know what they don't even believe in healing so those are the ones who may um, like unfortunately those are the ones who may come to you and you i'm talking to the person who's working on their healing those who have been praying those who have been meditating those who've been you know, healing the inner child, you're going to be the one who they come to. You are the light, okay? So when they come to you, make sure you are protected. Make sure you are prayed up. Make sure you do be that guide and light for them without them pouring their weight on you. And I do have a few things I have wrote down. So yes, um, sometimes we carry the weight of others' luggage when we didn't cause it. We did not cause it. And this is not to like, like I said, like say, oh, we don't care about them, but we didn't cause it. Whether it's your mother, whether it's your father, whether it's your siblings, everyone's on their own journey. And some of us are strong enough to heal and see and bless, let me say blessed, wise enough to see where the problems stem from and take accountability to heal from it, to not repeat those same patterns. And others, it may take a longer time to do so. But even if it takes them a longer time to do so, it is not your duty to carry that weight, baby. Okay. Mm. You have goals to complete. You have things to accomplish. And the best way to help others is to help ourselves. It may sound like crazy, like, how am I going to help them by just helping myself? That is the best way because we cannot pull from an empty cup, baby. We cannot and guess what? I've seen the most magical things happen. It's like, I've seen the most magical things happen for me just focusing on myself and doing what's good, best for me versus me keep talking to the person about how you can change, how you can do this. But me being that example, instead of speaking to someone who, you know, keeps telling me they want to lose weight, instead of like trying to give them ways to lose weight, you know how I've seen changes happen? Me be consistent with stay ready. Me be consistent with the business. Me consistent with YouTube. Me consistently working out. They're going to catch on. Trust me. They're going to follow your lead. And this is not me to try to force my beliefs on anyone. This is just another way of handling life. This is another way of handling what's not yours to carry, okay? It's just by, huh. Remember, they come to you with that conversation. 
say, I understand, and this is the way you can go about this. I understand. Not, I'm so sorry. Not, oh, not, not anything that makes the situation like more sad or more low. We're here to rise, okay? There is a solution for anything. There's a solution for every situation. And it's like, as I'm talking to the beautiful family, I'm pouring into myself as well because just a few months ago, something just like came into my life that I was not prepared for, baby. I was not prepared for it. And I'm going to be honest, I did allow it to weigh me down. I wasn't exercising. I wasn't doing the things that I usually do to keep my frequency you know, high, to keep my mood high. And what that did, that kind of just made me just sad. I was the person I didn't want to be around. I didn't want to be around my own energy. Then I had to take a few steps back and get out my feelings and get in my bag. And that's where I am now. So to this message for those who may just carry things that's not for you, or even if it is your baggage, put it down. Okay? Get to the core of it. Understand. Heal from it. Grow. Glow. Let me say glow. G-L-O-W. Glow from it. And don't repeat those same, them same steps so you will never get back in that position you were before, okay? 2024, baby. Stay Ready Talk, episode two. Drop what's not yours to carry. If you are enjoying these series, these talks, I know it's only episode two, but if you're enjoying it so far, let me know in the comments. Let me know. And if you have any anything you would like to share that relates to this video, I would love to hear in the comments. Have you had a situation that you just was feeling so good and somebody came to you with some news and it just depleted you? And it's just like, mm, how did you get out of that funk? How did you grow from that situation or glow from that situation? If you are someone who just practices love and light each day, that's what you believe, that's what you preach. How do you share that love and light with others without allowing them to dim your light? Let me know in the comments, beautiful people. It's your girl, Chanel Alicia. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me see if I have anything else that I have in the notes that I did not share. Oh, yes. Um, save yourself and keep faith that what you're doing will help others save themselves. Okay? That's what we have to do. All right? Um, what else? Uh, this is another one. I understand you care. Because, trust me, if you didn't care, you wouldn't feel all these emotions. You wouldn't feel anything, okay? So, be happy. Love on yourself. You actually feel in a way when someone comes to you is an indication that you care. You have a heart. You have feelings. And that is great. Don't be down on yourself. Because I, myself, used to question myself, like, why do I care so much? Why is this worrying me so much? And it's like, you're supposed to care. We're here to help others, but we cannot deplete ourselves in the, in the, in the same time. We have to set these boundaries. We have to protect our energy, right? So when that energy comes, that's not yours, that doesn't add to your positive aura, we're going to take it and we're going to transmute it. Okay. I understand. And then bring the solutions after that. Okay. Then right after that conversation, make sure you put on some music and dance, baby. Dance. Whether you have to dance, exercise, go for a walk, make sure you get that energy off, off of you. Get it off of you. It's not yours to carry. I appreciate you joining me on this Stay Ready Talk. Okay. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I appreciate you. I love you. Stay beautiful. Most important, stay ready. Just a reminder, I understand. Here's a way you can rise above the situation. And that is a lot of help. You do not have to morph into the sad situation with them. You don't have to relate. You don't have to add more sadness to what they're feeling. Okay? They came to you for the reason. Be the light. Be the light in the situation. See you later, beautiful people. Mwah.